Hi, this is Millie, and today I'm going to be customising this faceplate. As you can see, I've got quite a few bits and pieces to help me along, including this, which I bought last year. I wanted a rotary tool for years, well, decades actually, but I finally got one last year. See, I couldn't justify buying one because my drill worked, but last year I gave in because it has a flexi shaft it's attached to it so it's got the stand so it's dangling up on high when i'll be using this and obviously i've got lots of attachments there for it excuse me yes got my face mask ready and yes so i'm actually going to try the polishing pads as well i wonder if that will clean up the sanding marks i hope so i've got sandpaper lots of different grits here um these are just small pieces i've cut off I decided last year that I would be customising faceplates at some point. So, yeah, I've been collecting the bits and pieces that I will need. And I've watched so many customization videos. It's Tuesday morning, the 28th of February. And this is supposed to be finished and uploaded by Friday, 4pm, March 3rd. I thought I had lots of time, but yeah, it's February. Got a few less days in this month. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I better get started. Oh, but first, so the advice for beginners is um, you've got to keep holding this up to the light um, so that you can see the thickness of the plastic so that you don't make any holes, um, especially important if you're a beginner like me. Um, I don't want to keep holding it up to the light, so I'm going to use my light pad. And yeah, you can see the thickness of the plastic through. So what I'm going to do, because I don't want to blind myself, is I'm going to use this heavy duty uh, oven sheet, I think it is. So I'm going to lay it down on here, cut out a faceplate size hole, and then lay it on the light pad, which will protect it. And it'll also prevent me getting blinded when I'm working. See you in a bit. That's great. So this seems to work really well, except the black is messing with the exposure a little bit and um, maybe it's a bit slippy. So I've cut out a piece of white cotton, an old bed sheet. They're very handy. And place it down. Um, they're both attached with little bulldog clips like this. I can still see the thickness of the plastic and it's more comfortable to work on. Although if I really, really want to make sure, then I will just, you know, lift it up and have a good look like that. So, I really have no excuse not to start now. I have absolutely everything that I need, oh, including, you know, a little spray bottle of water as well for the sanding, which I forgot to show earlier on. Um, hmm. Right, I've got no excuse. Uh, let's put on my mask and start. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Guess what I noticed when I turned off the selfie ring light? Oh, yes, that's what I'm using here today. Just the little selfie light because, um, oops, I just clip it onto the camera and it's nice and small. And because I'll be working very, very close to the faceplate, if I used my normal ring light, I would keep bumping my head on it. And that would obviously nudge the camera a great deal. So I'm using this little thing instead, which is perfect. I've got it plugged in, so it's not going to run out of power. But look what I noticed when I turned it off. I can see even more clearly. Oh, so there's a lot of plastic in the nose. Let's see. Oh. That's great because I actually wanted to give her dimples in her cheeks because that would be so cute. I mean, she's a little fairy. She's got to have little dimples in her cheeks. But yeah, I won't have to lift up the cotton if I switch off the ring light. Okay, now I really don't have any excuse to not get started. Oh. But yeah, I'll start by rubbing it with this magic eraser thingy. That's, that's what somebody did in one of the videos. Oh yeah, clockwise, I think she said. Um, it, it sort of helps to get the shine off a little bit before you start working. Oh yes, and it helps to um, prevent the drill bits from slipping. 
So I won't be able to film the whole process because I know for a fact that I do not have enough memory on my phone. Is there any difference? Um, no. I must not be rubbing hard enough. Or can I see a difference on the nose? Yeah, maybe. So yes, I'm going to carry on doing this or... No, that's too fine. Thankfully, there are loads of really good customization videos on YouTube if you want to learn how to do this properly. We are slipping it on the cheek where those dimples are going. Beth Ramsden has some very good customization videos. She's very talented. This is a hard toothbrush, toothbrush, <laughs> paintbrush. So uh, what somebody said was that if you're a beginner, paint a line. Right down the middle. So that you don't lose symmetry. Paint a line? Did I say paint a line? I meant draw a line. Obviously. Whoops. <laughs> right. So, also somebody said you start on the nose first. Again, to preserve symmetry. Oof, I'm so nervous. So I'm going to film the start of this, me doing this. Um, obviously this is not a tutorial. There are really, really great ones out there and I'm a beginner. So I'm just going to film the start and then the next thing you'll see, she'll be much further along um, because yeah, I won't have enough storage on my phone to film the whole lot. Thanks. All right, here goes. Um, I don't think anything particularly happened there. Okay, I'll change the thingy. Um, ooh, for what though? I'm not sure. Okay, let's try this one. Well, it's not working the way it did for those ladies on YouTube. So obviously I'm doing something very, very wrong. Um, Okie dokie, I'll try the rounder, the bigger ball bit. At least that one works. Yeah, I think maybe not with the power tools. I do love power tools, but I don't know what I'm doing and I am making a mess, aren't I? Um, so... Um, I've seen people, let's see, here's a little pointy thing. So yes, this is going to take me a long time to figure out, so I should have started weeks ago. So people who do this for a living, respect to you. Do 
do, 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 do. Oh, what a mess I've made. Oops. Move my tablet. Yeah, I've got my tablet here. Here. Um, so I can watch things while I'm working. And I've covered it with clear cellophane. So that's not going to get any sandy bits, plasticky bits and dust. So obviously I love the idea of customising dolls, but I cannot see me doing this that often. I'm glad I'm giving it a go though. Absolutely. It's about time. I want to do for ages. I should have had a practice run with these tools. Yeah, because I don't know how to use them. Which is becoming very clear. <laughs> yeah. Major, major, major respect to all those experts who do this. They do it for a living. Like, wow. I don't think this will ever be my vocation. But at least I'm making a couple of actual changes to her. Whoops. <laughs> there goes the tablet. I'm sure it's fine. Well, yeah, it fell over before and it was fine. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. But I've dug out these little manual files. Have a bit more control with this. I mean, I love the power tool, obviously. But it does slip. And I should really practice using that on... Um, Something other than a doll face plate. But you know what? It's absolutely great to be crafting. I haven't, you know, done any other crafts for a long time. I've just mainly been sewing, knitting, crochet. I think I'll broaden that a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I really like the control you get with these hand files. Oops, says she. Slipping it. Let's get a better grip. So I've brought the top lip up a little bit and I've tried to make this one, the lower lip, a bit smaller. But I've got to be careful there. Yeah, yeah, I can bring it smaller. And also, what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> I keep jumping from top lip, bottom lip, filtrum, nostrils, up here. Yeah, it's up here that I'm making the mess of. Oh, and I can see that's slightly uneven there. Because of the light coming through it. I wouldn't have noticed before without having the light coming through. So I'm going to carry on and hope it's presentable at the end. So I'm definitely going to call it quits now on changing her face. It doesn't look much different, but um, I've brought the lip up a bit. I've uh, deepened the filtrum. I've tried to deepen these, but I've seen other people go deeper. But um, 
there doesn't seem to be much light much darkness here it's very light here now so I don't want to go deeper um, yeah and around here I just can't get that right <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it alone I think that's the best thing to do and I've gone in here a little bit as well I'll tell you what these um diamond nail files I like them it's like this one this is flat on one side and curved on the other and that was really nice for deepening the filter um yeah so yes I'm going to just do the sanding now and then after that the other very very nervous part the face up oh yes oh well uh so oops <laughs> oh yeah i just accidentally sprayed up my sprayed up my tablet but that's okay because it's covered with cellophane <laughs> yeah that's fine then so yes i'm now i'll be working in a clockwise direction um to get all of the gloss off and this is going to take a long long time yeah it is <laughs> all right see you later well here's what i learned i definitely do not like doing these bits around here so i'm probably never going to do them again um unless i watch the uh, videos on youtube over and over and over again <laughs> but i uh, know i'll probably leave it um and i've done as much sanding as i'm willing to so it's still a little bit scratchy around there and there um but i do like doing the filter in the mouth and i've put a little thingy in here as well to give it a little bit more shape um i've pushed the top lip up i've made the lower lip smaller got some tiny little dimples in and i forgot i've got to take her apart because i've got to sand down the back plates and paint a little design on it or just a note saying customized by me blah 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 okay thanks i have a problem because i took off the original face plate um took the eyes out and if you if you've done um changed the strings before or whatever you'll be familiar with this little thing which has a sticky out bit plastic bit uh which um stops the eyes from moving too far when you switch eye colors and the sticky out bit broke off because it's a different kind of plastic it's it's hard and and it's brittle compared to the more flexible white plastic you get from the different face molds because this is one of these face molds with um with it's called an nbl body yeah so um yes if you open up one of those be very very careful because it was thin it broke off so i have an electric hob i put a needle on the hob then grabbed it with pliers oh yes and i screw this back in and then i poked a hole where the sticky outy thing was actually it's roughly where it was and eventually i managed to get through so um i think i'll just um i'll pop a paper clip thing in and what i'll do with that also i'm going to heat it so that goes through more easily actually no that's perfect yeah that's oh that's not coming out in a hurry oh that's excellent i think that'll work and it, it's it's got the um sorry it's got the flexibility that you'd need for the eye mechanism right where are those pliers okay uh doo -doo -doo. right and because the little plastic thingy flew off <laughs> i'm not quite sure how long it is and of course i don't have any spares oh and also you can't use the white ones as spares because can you tell oh yes you can it's much bigger than the white ones uh perhaps get two white ones or so and glue them together and use just and cut off one of the flicky things um so i'm going to 
cut it maybe there no there I'm going to cut it longer than I think I need because I can always make it shorter and that will hopefully work oh that was a fright but honestly yes it was it was so fragile um and it only took the oh yes and um it was bent when i took out the after i took out the imec so I, I pushed it to straighten it up that's when it broke wait why am i i'm not using oh no i need it for this one silly me right that's where the hole is which means I've got to put the hob back on because I wanted to have that security yeah that little hole there I want that to be on this one as well to help keep the paper clip in place so I'm going to put the screw in just to make sure that I absolutely get the right position for the paper clip bit. And yeah, heat up the needle again and then pop the paper clip thing back in. Right. Right, that went through okay. And even though I will have to remove this, I want to test it and see. Just quickly popped back into the kitchen for the pliers and realised I'd left the hob on. Well, I would have noticed soon anyway, because I'll be having a nice cup of tea after this. Yeah, that's not stable at all oh actually that's not too bad but i'll tell you what i'll do for the final um when i put this in for keeps i'm going to heat up the paper clip on the hob that way you can sort of go straight into a little bit of that plastic for added security Oops. Yeah, and I'll be using a different paper clip because I don't know where that little bit's gone. Oh dear. Well, I have got plenty of paper clips, so that's all right. Yeah, yeah. You can see a tiny dent there. I want to make that a bit bigger, so yeah. I'm going back to the hub with the needle. So there's the hole and it goes right through to the bottom of that for even more stability when I do put the paper clip in. Yeah, the next stage would be to sand this and then it's a bit drizzly outside, so I won't be spraying today. Um, yeah, I'll spray tomorrow, do the face up tomorrow. Uh, so tomorrow is what? Uh, tomorrow's Wednesday, which means on Thursday I'll sew the outfit. And then Friday I'll film. Okay, good. <laughs> so there's a chance that I might not use my first attempt at customization today at carving so i thought yep i'll just use the original faceplate and um got the acetone ready with some cotton wool and look it's sticking to it managed to get all the makeup off oh tiny bit of pink left there um but uh the cotton wool is just completely sticking to it so <laughs> Yeah, I've got a lot more sanding to do. Drat. But comparing the noses now, though, um, the one I did looks a lot better. 
but then I, I think it started off a little bit better as well. Okay, bye. It is Wednesday, the 1st of March, and it's afternoon. I've been wasting a lot of time today because I'm really nervous. Ah, story of my life, really, <laughs> at the moment. So, yes, I remembered to spray the eyelids. And obviously I sprayed these this morning. I totally forgot to spray the ears, which I've only just done. So they're over here drying. And I'll deal with them later. Oops, just... And what I've used is not Mr. Super Clear because it's, well, it's impossible for me to get hold of here unless I have it sent to me. And the postage costs probably the same, if not more, as the price of a can. So I'm not going to do that. Instead, I went to Hobby Craft, a local craft shop, or a national, international. Is it international? Well, it's a national craft shop anyway, near me. And I got this plastic coat, matte clear sealer, transparent. And it says it's suitable for use wood, metal, plastic, stone, wicker and crafts. Well, it's plastic. So I've seen reviews for this on Amazon. And I think somebody did use it for Blythe face plates. So here's hoping. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've spent a lot of time watching face up tutorials and I'm about to start. I'll be using pastels. And uh, yeah, hmm. Because I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, the first bit shall be just behind the ear. Um, what do I do? It doesn't seem right to not wet it first. So anyway, I've brought up a little bit of colour with the brush and is it going to take? Um, maybe? Would I want this colour behind the ear? I didn't think of that. Oh, okay. So that is working. Okay, what I better do the identical thing behind here then. Hmm. It's working, I think. It's not the end of the world if I get it completely wrong, is it? That one needs a lot more compared to the other one. Or rather, maybe the other one needs it a lot less compared to this one. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased that the colour is being taken up by the ears. That's a relief because everyone was saying, don't buy cheap, don't buy cheap. Well, guess who bought cheap? <laughs> I did. This set is from The Works, which is a bargain bookshop here in the United Kingdom. And it probably cost three pounds, I think. And it's working. Yay. There's no white, though, unfortunately. Um, I did want a white uh, to use as a highlight in just very specific places. And I don't have a white watercolour pencil, and um, so if I do want a white highlighter, I might have to resort to acrylic paint and the look would be different. So if I want to highlight, maybe just dip my sponge in water and sip, 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 like that. Okay, bye. Yeah, I've definitely lost patience as I got older. I used to love doing art, but now... I just want to get it over and done with, really, and that's not the right attitude. So, yes, so many things wrong, but I don't care. So, I've signed it. <clears throat> and her name is Finney by Mary Sue, number one. Oops, oh dear. E okay, yeah. Oh, amazing how much dust uh, it can attract after getting sprayed. So I'll just give her one coat of sealant. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll ever rework this in the future because this is my very first attempt. 
at a customization. Okay, the result's not great, but at least I've done something. <laughs> so next step, eye chips. The eye designs that I'll be using, um, I bought on Etsy. They were designed by Miss Freya, or Miss Freya J. And um, she does them in a range of colors. So this is the greens. That's the blues. No, these are the teals, not the blues. Uh, I'm going to be using the browns though, because I think that actually looks really nice with the pink. Um, and they are 14 millimeter eye tips and they are perfect for the nice thin I chips from Aliexpress. So I've used these before, they're really good. And um, you can't see it very well with the reflection of the ring light. Never mind. Anyway. So yes, and uh I want to jazz them up a bit because she is going to be a fairy. So um the original idea was that I would glue a line just around the outside and then sprinkle over some of this glitter, but I don't know. And then um, I came, I found these glue pens that I had. And then if I just draw around the edge with the glue pen, that would be even easier. And then I thought maybe pop one of these glittery things on the pupil, one on each pupil as a highlight thing. Uh, so now I have to decide which colors to use. Oh, another nice thing about um, her designs are you can either, uh, with your purchase, you get the option to print one set on a four by six fo size photo, or you can print four sets on an A4 sheet, which obviously is what I did. Then, you know, you've got four the same. And I always use three the same for blies, like side, front, other side. And then the back is something completely different. Because um, I love that you get so many different options. And um, I might darken the pupils a bit. And I think before I've drawn them or painted them. But this time I think I might use one of these things. I've seen people use these. And just dip it in ink and then go whoop. And hopefully I'll get a perfectly round pupil. Wish me luck. So this side of the sheet was a misprint and I thought I would take that opportunity to practice with the ink. Um, it was okay. Um, I was getting better. And while I was waiting for that to dry, I thought, let's try this nail varnish. And I put it on this. And because it's nail varnish, it's going, it's going to act like glue as well. So I popped an eye chip on top of it and I thought oh that looks nice so I'll show you yeah oh so nice and sparkly which is perfect for a fairy so I did the other one up there giving me one pair two pairs three pairs and then for the fourth pair I've got one that looks a bit like a flower. I don't know if you can see, it's that one there. Actually, it's at the top here. You'll be able to see it better like that. That's gorgeous. Um, so yes, I have tried, oh yes, there, that one. I glued the outside and poured glitter over the top. Then promptly put those two, way, way too much glitter in the ink so that's gone all over the place I do like the glitter around the outside though so these are going to dry overnight and I'll pop them in tomorrow and tomorrow is the sewing day bye it's Thursday morning and I'm here with an eye chip update it's not good news but they are usable the first ones I did which I really really like with where I just brushed the nail varnish on you can see that underneath the chip is sort of metallic from shaped because she's going to be a fairy that's okay I still really really like them so I will be using those uh, what else oh the ink that didn't work at all because you can see the after effect is horrible won't be using that so with this one I glued ink around the outside then put a dollop of glue in the center and pressed it down 
is horrible. Absolutely unusable. This one, I sprinkled glitter just generally on top of it and then glue on top. It looks terrible. That can't be used. So, yes, but thankfully for her fourth pair, the same with, I just did with the nail varnish. So that's okay. It's, it's still got those from the thingies. But they're very hard to spot. So in future, I'm just going to stick to what I normally do, which is get a blob of Yoohoo. And I put a blob about the same size as the pupil onto it. And then press down with the eye chip. And as I wiggle it about a little bit so that you don't get any air pockets. Mm. And then press down really, 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 really hard. And then leave it alone. So I'm glad that I have got usable eye tips. Thank goodness. And those and those and those and that. Last night when I was editing yesterday's footage, I thought she looked a bit pale. Um, she's not that pale in real life, but in real life she could actually do with a little bit more cheek colour. So that's what I'll do before I start sewing. Oh yes, and it'll give me a chance to put some colour into the fairy ears as well. And obviously I'll give them another spray as well as the face blade afterwards. And at some point in the future I will redo her lips because I started off with pastels, then watercolour pencil, then paint. So yeah, it's a bit of a mess. I'll, in the future, I'll take it off and redo it. Of course, the professionals build this up in lots and lots of layers, but I have neither the time or the patience. Time? That's my own fault. Patience? Yep, I can work on that. Uh, you know. I think I'll leave it at that. It still doesn't look particularly dark on the camera, but in real life it's a lot darker. So yeah, let's leave it there. Now I'll try and brush off all the tiny black hairs that I don't know where they're coming from. She says wearing a black sweatshirt. <laughs> and spray. And then I'll start sewing. No, not quite. I forgot about the ears, didn't I? <laughs> uh, right then. So this video seems to be about how to <clears throat> Just do an average job. <laughs> yes, well, I did say at the start, it's not a tutorial, not by any means. <laughs> tutorial of how to do, well, you know, not the best job, but a good enough job. And I think when you get to a certain age, good enough is good enough. I know it shouldn't be like that, but... There's only so much time and effort I'm willing to put into this. And obviously that will 
be reflected in the end result. Because most of this will brush off. So yes, when people say, don't buy cheap, you know, obviously there was a good reason. What I found is that the paler colours, uh, they don't last really, but the dark ones, they, for some reason, they do stick. You make a mistake with the dark ones, that's just not going to rub off. So you need one of these magic eraser thingies, which really does help. Um, actually, no, the dark ones, they're not even sticking in here either. Oh well. But I'm not going to buy a more expensive set because I won't be doing much of this at all, ever. There's a mermaid collaboration coming up in the beginning of June, that's gone again, uh, which I will be taking part in and I'll be customising her as well. Probably the same as this, full face up, but um, ooh, what a mess. Uh, yes, full face up and um, I'll do a better job and I will take my time and I'll give myself plenty of time to finish <laughs> instead of just a few days. That will help a great deal. Why do I leave things to the last minute? <laughs> Alright, see you soon with the sewing. Nope, no sewing yet. Uh, this is a lot clearer in real life than you can see on camera but I think I'd like to try and darken it a bit anyway so I've sharpened the watercolour pencil and I'm dipping it in the water so I'll start with the top one which really does make a big difference Still not sewing, which is the only part of this process I'm actually comfortable with. Um, no, I thought I'd better hurry up and do her hair, um, because obviously that will have to be dry in time for tomorrow. So I've given it a really good brush with this, which is lovely. Um, it's quite staticky, so I'm going to try another trick I've learnt online, and I'm sure they do it a different way entirely. But I'm going to pour a little bit of fabric conditioner on the brush. Let's see if that helps. Of course I spilt it. Of course I did. <laughs> Whoops. That might be a very bad idea. So in a way, this is a tutorial. It's what not to do. <laughs> so there's, there's a bit of hair. This is at the front, which is a little bit annoying. That's short. Oh well. Um, so instead of that, how messy do I want to be? No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, let's just pour a bit more on. Okay, it's dripping. I'm dripping right through. That's okay. So what the plan is, uh, you can see the pipe cleaners. Oh no, you can't. There. There's lots and lots of pipe cleaners here. Um, I want to put little curls in her hair. Um which should look absolutely gorgeous. What I'm going to do now, I've forgotten his name, but I'll pop it on the screen. Um, he did a great tutorial for his Ever After High dolls, I think. And um, he is drinking straws, which you know I don't have. Well, I've got some, but I'm not going to waste them on a 
doll here. I'm going to save them for emergencies. Now, where's the front? Um, yeah, so I'm going to wrap the hair around these pipe cleaners, dunk it in hot water, then rinse under the cold tap, then towel dry, squish, scrunchy towel dry, and then leave to dry overnight. It seemed to take forever and ever and ever. Um, probably didn't take as long as it felt. Oh, I did put a couple of thick ones in because I lost patience. Yeah, actually, before I pop it in the boiling water, I'm going to undo this one and separate it into two. Uh, yeah, doll hair really isn't my thing. Um, so however this turns out, I'll be happy with. Um, so now, uh, boil a kettle of water and I'll pour it into a saucepan, dunk the head in, move it around for 10 to 15 seconds, and then I'll rinse it under a cold tap. Okay. With hindsight, I probably should have unscrewed these, but that did not occur to me at all. Oops. I tried not to dunk the entire thing under, but yeah, it's tricky. So uh, after rinsing it with cold water, I squeezed out the excess water, but be careful that if you do that, uh, the ends of the pipe cleaners are quite sharp. So hmm, I'll give it a good squeeze with the towel. Well, I hope this works. I'm not doing it again if it doesn't. <laughs> I think you can sense a theme to my dedication. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I really like this project, though. Let's get a dry bit of towel. Actually, it doesn't matter if I make a mess, does it? They won't get untangled. So, I wonder how long it'll take to undo these pipe cleaners. Uh, let's see, is there a knack to it? What if I undo that at the top? Will it slide out? Um, if I loosen the bottom? Now will it slide out? Oh, oh hey, we have a curl. <laughs> Uh, where's it gone? Oh, here it is. Yeah, hmm. Well, it's, it's not straight. That's messy, so I shouldn't have folded the pipe cleaner over. Why? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, look, it's a ringlet. <laughs> oh, that's fun. I'll loosen that at the bottom, undo that, and then hope for the best. No, um, hmm, oh, really, I don't want to do it like that. That'll take forever. Well, almost half an hour, I think. Oh, longer, because this might take longer than it took to actually put them in. Can I? Oh, yeah, no, I, uh, that's taken some hair with it. 
So that's not a good idea. All right. I have to take them out the way I put them on. I mean, for the sake of an extra 15 minutes or so, I might as well do it more carefully and get better results. Yeah. And uh, I'll leave them to dry while they're still in ringlets. This is definitely worse than um, putting them in. Eesh, I've still got so many to go. <laughs> ah, it'll be worth it. Right, new technique. It does make them a bit messy, but this, all of these are at the back. They'll be underneath and they won't be on show. So, under the bottom and try to untwist it all the way. Ugh. Look, that's already sticking. That would be a drag to uh, undo. So the top, I'm holding onto that. I tried it before, but it didn't work. So I'm oh, just unwinding. Definitely easier from the top. Oops, also definitely easier if I'm not trying to keep on camera. Look at that. Look how quick that was. But it messed them up. Look. Yeah, but um, hmm. that's not too bad. Springing back into a ringlet. So I know I've tried it briefly before, but obviously not very well. Of course, you can't see what I'm doing now. So that's untwisted from the bottom. All right. Whoops. Oh, I was trying to keep it on camera, which is how I've messed up. Oh, not so much for that tutorial. Do it from the bottom again. They'll meet in the middle and it'll be free. After a while. Oh, yeah, life's too short. Boink, boink. <laughs> Not doing that again in a hurry. <clears throat> well, perhaps not until the mermaid challenge. Um, yeah, I think I would like her to have curly hair as well. So I'll see how this turns out. If it's nice, then I will do exactly the same thing. Yep. <laughs> um, if it doesn't turn out, well, I, I don't really want to use the drinking straw method. Um, although, I would keep the drinking straws for future use. Yeah, okay, I think I'll do that. Because his tutorial was really good. And it was much quicker than using pipe cleaners. So I'm going to pop this oops, somewhere and leave it spread out like this in order to dry. Oh, I'm glad that's over. Uh, what time is it? It's so just after noon. Well, four minutes past 12, so um, 
Yeah, I'm going to have some breakfast now. I'll have porridge with cinnamon and honey, followed by a nice cup of tea. Uh, so hopefully the next time you see me, I'll be sewing at last. <laughs> Actually, what I did do instead was I took it off the wet part of the towel, which is now here. That's dangling down the side. And it's on the drier part, which was underneath. It's it actually is dry. So, and this is how I'm going to leave it to dry. Oh, and also, if you're wondering about these straight ends, I'm going to cut them off before I go through. Because obviously I don't want to cut straight ends. I'm going to be using a stitch by stitch with Lily pattern. It's the flower costume. Uh, I'll just use the bodice because the skirt is actually flower petals from um, fake flowers. I don't think I have any the right size. Ooh, hmm. So yeah, um, I'll just make up the skirt as I go along. And these are the fabrics. Um, I might use all four or I might just use three. This sparkly towel will be the underskirt. This organza will be the main skirt, I think. Maybe three layer skirts and that as the bodice, maybe. So yes, I've got the bodice and um, as always, I'll be leaving the actual pattern intact and I'll trace these pieces onto card. So stitch by stitch with Lily patterns are designed to be sewn by hand. So they don't have a seam allowance because that would make it awkward. But because I'm in a rush, I'm definitely going to be sewing by machine and I'm going to add a seam allowance all the way around and I'm using this very very handy little quilting tool it adds a quarter of an inch to the pattern and I've got my sewing machine set up where the needle is a quarter of an inch away from the edge of the foot, ensuring a perfect seam every time. So yeah, this is a great little device. And what I used to do was I would trace the pattern out onto the card, then add the extra seam allowance. And then I thought, hang on, that's not the most sensible way of doing it. So now I add the seam allowance to the pattern. And then I trace out both lines onto card. So, okay, that's not perfect. Let's do that again. Yeah, and it, it's such a handy little tool, this. Only joking, <laughs> not doing that. <laughs> so, but it's very handy, and I'll use it for this. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to turn it up because usually when I've been tracing, I've been putting bits of card and paper all the way around, but I don't have to anymore. This um, tray liner is very handy.
So I have to cut two of the main fabric and two out of lining. Um, just in case these get mixed up. I'm just going to quickly write the number on. I normally write the entire thing. But I'm in a hurry, so. All right. All right, my phone stopped recording because I've run out of memory. Um, so I've cut out all the pieces um, and then I marked them all. And uh, those for the bodies, those for the lining. And then also these are the pieces B, C and D. I needed an extra piece on each side. So there's the bodice. Uh, and then C joins on to B. Oops, there we are. And then D. But then also you need to... Oh, can't pick it up now. <laughs> you need to flip these for the other side of the bodice. And you do that twice. For the bodice and the lining. And um, I've cut out a piece of this lovely crepe as well for the skirt. And even this nice neat edge. But it's salvage. I'm going to be cutting into it like so it's zigzaggy and very scruffy looking and I'll be using these two for underskirts organza and sparkly towel I couldn't use the seersucker because even with two layers it's very see-through I've got to hurry up and um, I can't really show you the process because I'm going to run out of memory again see you soon how annoying that I can't walk you through the part, the only part that I'm confident in. So uh, I'll just quickly tell you that I've laid all the pattern pieces out the right way up and in the order in which they are to be sewn because it's very easy to make a mistake. And the next time, yes, uh, it'll be fully made, I think, and possibly also embellished. Yeah, they weren't in the right order at all. So I double checked with the actual pieces and then flipped them around. And yes, they are definitely in the right order now. Phew. Right, I've sewn all the pieces together, front and back, and I've joined it all along the top and about just over halfway down the back. I've realized that I forgot to cut out extra fabric for um, the closure, for the back closure. So it'll, whoops, it'll fit like that, but that's okay, I'll, I'll figure something out. I might sew a ribbon onto one side and then the snap fasteners onto that. So I've pressed it, but um, yeah, I'm going to have to press it again um, and spray some water on it, I think. And now I'm going to take a break for a cup of tea and also to edit, uh, edit footage I've already shot, which will give me more space to film, more storage space. Okay, like, uh, I like I like this so far. It's nice to have a body shape. Um, I didn't quite do that dip enough, but yeah, this is going to be embellished anyway. Right, see you later. Right, it's getting on a bit. It's Thursday evening. Um, I. I'm not going to sew any more today because it might be a bit noisy. So I've printed off this set of fairy wings from my froggy stuff. I'm sure a lot of you will be aware of how talented Toya is. And I'm going to try and bend this wire into the outline of the wing shape. I don't think I'll film that because it took me hours and hours and hours to edit to give me an extra five gigabytes to film with and I've still got an awful lot of things to film like changing the eye chips, fixing up her hair, um, finishing the dress, um, doing the ring pulls. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you later. I pushed a drawing pin into my ironing pad. It, it's got cork inside. Um, to hold the wire in place and then I just sort of went around. I wanted them a little bit bigger than uh, this size but um, for the lower one I sort of stuck to 
the actual size. So now I'm going to tie the wire a couple of times around the center to have security and then I'll start shaping the wings and I still have no idea of how I'm going to attach the fabric. Please excuse the reflection but I don't know how well my cutting mat will withstand hot glue. See this I didn't think of this for ages because you know I didn't grow up with anything like this. Uh, so it's not always my first thought. It worked! Yay! So I'm going to add a few more things to it before I cut off the excess. Yeah, I'm going to make the um, wire look a bit nicer. Not quite sure how yet. A few weeks ago I got this pack of glitter glue sticks from the range in case they came in handy, and they did. I used the pink ones, and I just went splitch, 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 all over with the hot glue gun. Um, and, um, yeah, it's messy, but I quite like that. I have wings, yay! And um, I've kept a little bit of wire attached, which I twirled around, so this can be tucked inside a dress bodice. To keep them in place. Although I haven't even tried them on the doll, size-wise, but yeah, they'll show. Where are we here? So, yay! Oh, wow, yes, they're very messy, but I like them. Ooh. Here's looking at you. Alright, sticking with the glue theme. Uh, it's time to take these eye chips out. Oh. Yeah, okay. Let me get a full one. Right. One good thing about having used to smoke is that I still have a couple of lighters lying around. Which is handy for some crafts. Oops, was that hot enough? So I'm pressing that down quite firmly. And as you can see, I've used these before. Uh, there must be another one somewhere as well. Yeah. I did actually like those blue eye chips, but you know, never mind. Um, so I haven't changed eye chips for a while. I've forgotten how long I'm supposed to leave it on. Where is the other one? I guess it doesn't matter. Ah, there it is. Oops, I messed up the eye tips. So, did I put away the... Yeah, I think I... Oh, wow, that came out so easy. So, yes, I think I put away the Yoohoo glue. And that's also what I use to put the eye chips in. See, so they are they completely reusable. They come out great. Where's the other one? There. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to have to trim... <laughs> this glue stick down actually in order to get the eye chip out or prevent this from happening in the future oh dear well later I've got more so yeah I think I will cut these down get the rest of these out and start gluing these in they all came out beautifully Except this one. This one just wouldn't come out at all. I tried loads of times with the glue. Eventually I poked my little scissors in. It came out. But it kept a tiny bit of my scissors. Now missing a tip. Oh. But anyway, they're out. So thank goodness for that. Whoop. 
Oops. Yeah. That's one thing I don't like about these glues. They're so messy. Oh. I haven't even started yet. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to put a little bit. Actually, you know, I've, I've forgotten how I did this before. It has been a while. Yeah, I really don't want any on the outside of the eye. So I wanted that to be on that side. And press. Oh yeah, I can really see the fronds now. Can you? Yes, you can. Hmm. Okay, so I might have to change those at some point. Oh well. Let's line this one up the same way. Oh, I've lost the detail. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So I'll probably leave those that way up for about five minutes. Then I'll turn the mechanism and do the next slot. So in between changing the eye chips, I've made a little headband, hairband, just out of a paper and wire shop bought floral thingy just wound it around a Blythe's head and tied it at the back. <laughs> it doesn't get much easier than that. And now I'm embellishing the top of the bodice. I mean, I wouldn't normally do that until the entire dress had been made, but um, I've got some time to kill. And it's the time of night where you've got to do quiet crafts. Whoops. Actually, I can't really do this from a distance. I'm short-sighted, but I take my glasses off in order to craft close up. So yeah, oh, and this is just a um, lightweight plastic string of pearl-like thingies that I got from the haberdashery shop. So I still have to press this properly tomorrow. I could have done that now, but I just wanted to get sewing. I think it's time to change uh, to put the next eye chips in. Oh, I left the glue open. Silly me. No harm done. I don't put much in. You know, just in case I want to change the eye chips. Um, is that the wrong way around? I just put a few small dabs around it, which is quite enough. Mm, that way around. So there's quite a bit of assembly to do tomorrow. Um, I still have to change the um, pull chain as well. Uh, although lately I've been keeping the ring that comes with it and then I just add the extra string, but um, I just put beads on that string 
Oh, finished with that now. So, oh yes, I've got a glittery paper flower, which I think I might put on the front of the dress. No, I don't really want to hide the pearly things. Um, I might be lazy tomorrow and not have that. It might just be straight across, in which case I'll put the flower here. That will look nice. Right, I'll carry on sewing. Oh, an eye chip fell out. Oops, perhaps I didn't leave it in long enough. Yeah, so now I've never done this before. The only eyelashes I've changed, well, I put some in, in Kennedy's eyelashes, but I couldn't get the old ones out, so I simply glued the new ones on top. Wow, how are you supposed to get these in? Maybe with tweezers? Would that help? I don't know. Maybe. Oh. You think that's working? I hope I've made a mistake. Oh, did I put the wrong end in? Yeah, <laughs> I did. Okay, out you come. <laughs> oh dear. What did I? It's hard to tell. I mean, I've never... Whoops. I've never worn false eyelashes myself, so I'm not exactly an expert. No, it is a bit smaller at that end. Okay. Whoops. There might be people who have a knack for this. I seem to not have a knack for this at all. Oh dear. Hmm. Oh well, I'll get it in. Oh, that went in better. Still doesn't look right. <laughs> so let's grab the other. Oh, shall I get the... See, that was at the beginning. Shall I use the other end of it? instead no because i want it to have sort of whoops wispy eyelashes so i cut i use this end which means i'll pull from the other end Ooh. and i measured it according to this which is an eyelash applicator Never knew they existed. Um, yeah. So there's an extra bit sticking out there that I don't want. And about here is the right length for the slot to go into. Right. Okay. Let's hope they stay in. Okay, so I'll um, 
Oops. <laughs> yeah, I'll just there. Yeah, this it's never even had glue on it. Oh yeah, I must have put the glue too low down. Silly me. Oh, I did, right, yes. I didn't have any on that ridge. And where's the... there. Is getting on a bit. I think I'll call it a night. Got quite a bit done, so that's good. Oh yes. That will probably frighten me in the frighten me in the morning if I leave it there. Um. the other one because I can use those for another doll except oh <laughs> yeah got it <laughs> so these are called party lashes number three got them from Primark okie dokie oh that's cute I really like that um, over there. Right. See you in the morning. Good morning. I've just finished sewing the dress and now I have to start on the assembly. Um, and I haven't even looked at the hair yet. Ooh. Uh, right. So... This is the cords that changes the eyes. Make sure that never comes undone until I want it to. And the other one goes through here. This is where the this is where the spring was held. Obviously, we're not using the spring in sleepy eye mechanisms. Ugh. Alrighty. And let's double that one up. Oops. So the lighter melts melts the cord and um, keeps it from unraveling. So I've before this doll, I've never actually taken the eye mechanism out before, and so actually I'm a little bit nervous putting it back in. Oh. Yep, I'm very nervous about that. Especially seeing as it seems to have grown an inch since I took it out. <laughs> oh. oh, I think it's working. Oh, oh she's got eyes. Oops, let's open those eyelashes. She has eyes. Thank goodness. Oh, right, I forgot. Of course the eye mechanism isn't going to work because I still have to fix that thing. Oh, okay. Right. 
yeah, that one's going to take too long. So I happen to have an identical doll, well, with different hair, for a future project. I'm filming this so that I could have a jolly good view of that thing on record, which I'm now going to unscrew and use in the fairy. So I wonder if AliExpress sell these spare. Oh yeah, look. Look how thin that is. I wonder it broke off. But uh, thank you for the gift, kind doll. Future project. Yeah, so I hope AliExpress sell spares of these. If not, I'll get a couple of white ones, which I will anyway. I've learnt my lesson. Okie dokie, put the other doll back um, back in one piece. Next job, the hair. Um, how do I even do this? Um, goodness me, I have no idea. Um, Oh yes, I said I was going to cut the straight ends off, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, ooh, I wonder. Is that an okay thing to do? I don't know. What if I... Oh, let's, let's start with one from the back. You know, so... Oh yes, and when I opened her up... That was very bent. I'll try to put that straight. Um, when I put her back in. Okay, what if I... Well, having had curly hair for most of my life, it's gone straight now, which is odd, but I know that if you brush curly hair, it goes frizzy. So yeah, I don't think I'll be doing that. Um, but I don't want the ringlets. I mean... Oh dear. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No, that's not the way to do it. And you keep that brush away. Um, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, oh my goodness. Like I said, doll hair is not my thing. So that's a no. Oh dear. Um, oh, that's better. Just do it gently from the bottom up with my fingers. See you in half an hour or so. Well, it didn't take as long as I had feared, and it was oddly relaxing. It looks well, you can see how it looks, um, but it, it feels really, really nice. It's so soft. Oh, it's lovely now. <laughs> Which way is the front? Yeah, okay. That'll be fun. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, I like this. It was worth the time and the effort, she says. Well, it's not on the door yet. Yeah, so now the assembly. Oh, whoops, I just noticed. These are the screws to the back of the head. I put them in some white tack. So let's keep them safe. Didn't realise I had them that close to the hair. So, the reassembly, yes.
So the lower string goes through this hole here. Which means the other one will pop through here. Now we get to my least favourite part. Putting it back together and keeping the body in place. Although this type of thing will it be easier because she has this neck thing oh yeah a lot easier with the other type of bodies it's a nightmare whoops i tried to not get any hair caught pulling those strings so that they don't get caught And, oh, there is a hair, but it's coming from the inside. Also from the inside. Okay, yeah, this, <laughs> this is one of my least favourite bits. Well, not normally this bad. Hey. Oh, we have a doll. Now, those are the screws. If you're quite observant, you might notice that her dress does not yet have snap fasteners. It's pinned at the back. But that's because I'm going to leave that to the very last minute. And if I have the time before the photo shoot, then of course I'll put the snap fasteners on and I will put them on obviously <sighs> right we have a doll so let's see She's something else. So, uh, I've got to keep, I mean, I've got to stop saying so. I do it a lot. I really noticed that when I was editing the videos. Yeah, it's too much. Oh, right. Make sure I know which string is which. So, this is the original string. Well, not I replaced it. It's the um, location of the one and only string which has this and I, I do like these you know they're iconic so I'm going to put it back on probably have it about that length please thank you that will definitely prevent it from getting untangled so beads um i quite like the simple ones because they already have a lot of weight with their head and their hair so i don't really want to add loads more weight to it although you know, I've seen pull chains that people make um, with gorgeous beads and they, they do look amazing. So I'll have that. So I'm putting a knot up here to stop the beads sliding around. Oops, that's my doorbell. Oh, I wasn't recording. Oh, well, you missed my delight at... Um, when I first saw the wings on, 
<laughs> just wow. <laughs> oh, and I love her. And um, I was saying that I want to find somewhere outdoors to take photos of her. I want nature shots and um, I have a roof terrace because I live in a flat or apartment as the Americans say. Uh, so that's not much use. Uh, we've got parks around here. Um, oh, oh, I'm so pleased. <laughs> oh, see you later. I finished the video in time. Yay. Uh, I had 18 minutes to spare. Good morning, it's Saturday and I got the video up in time, as you might have seen. I still had to make a few changes though. Uh, the dress does now have snap fasteners at the back. It was pinned when I took the photographs for the collaboration video. And um, you might have noticed I couldn't quite bring myself to cut into the um, skirt and slash it. So I just gave it a, a very simple hem, but I don't like it. So I'm going to embellish it with the same beading that I used on the top. It should look gorgeous. Um, oh, the flower, because it's paper, that's simply pinned on. I'll pin that on when she's wearing it. And I've decided to not do anything else with Finney's face. So I'm going to pop some varnish on her lips. Uh, this should be glossy yep clear gloss so it'll give a little bit of sparkle to her lips um yes and it turned out this plastic coat varnish is really good because she's only had she's had one base spray and two other sprays yesterday for the photos um during the photo shoot she fell out of a tree landed face down and look no damage marvelous so that's good to know. Um, I'll see you when? Maybe when I'm about to start varnishing her lips? Okie dokie. So the beading looks a bit wonky, but I did sew it all the same distance from the edge, but uh, it's the way the beading chain curls, which makes it look a little bit funny. And I forgot to mention that the underskirts uh, the elastic is quite loose. Well, it, I used more elastic than you would for the waist because they both have to sit below the waistline. Otherwise, if they were made for the waistline, it would really ruin the look of the bodice. Alrighty. I've put links in the video description to all the other channels that took part in this fairy collaboration. Honestly, they just look amazing. You're going to love them. I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, add them all to your watch later list and put it on autoplay. There we are, nice and quick. So while that varnish dries, I'm going to edit yesterday's footage and today's. And then the varnish should be dry enough for me to take her out for one last shot which I'll show at the very end. Um, yes, uh, the next lot you'll see will be the footage I shot yesterday. And then, yes, and then today's photograph will be at the very end. So, thank you very, very much for watching. Um, I know it's been a long video, sorry. <laughs> I had no idea. I thought it was just going to be a half hour video, honestly. Um, but yeah, hope you've learned something. Well, you've learned something about me, that's for sure. Um, what I'm prepared to do, what I'm not prepared to do. Uh, oh yes, this happened yesterday while I was pulling. I forgot to mention that. Yep, it's always held before, but not today. So I'll put some more beads on. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll put about four knots in the bottom instead of two. Oops, I forgot to show the beads. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> Until next time. Oh, the next time might be the mermaid challenge, which I think is set for the 3rd of June. Hmm. And you'll be looking at a mermaid instead of a fairy. <laughs> All right. Bye.